This is exactly what I've been trying to warn people about. There's a lot of big news for AI this week. Google will be replacing members of their legal team with AI because it's just that efficient. It is pretty cool and it can do a lot of great things. In fact, Google scientists are receiving a Nobel Prize for some of their work. I will admit that this is in my field and it's pretty awesome. However, we are putting an awful lot of our society in the hands of something that we can't control. We know that AI can go bad. We know that it can preserve bad code and lie to researchers when they ask if it still has it. Imagine what happens if it gets hacked and it has control over that much of society. Meanwhile, we've had declining literacy rates over the last 30 years. Math as well. And technology is great. It gives us so many shortcuts, but it shouldn't be a substitute to actually learning how to do something. What I'm really worried about is that allowing AI to take on so much of our labor is going to result in a self-induced second class. A division between people who actually know how to do tasks, know how to read, know how to do math, and those that don't. A lot of the labor jobs that don't require specialty can be done by a robot. I don't want to see creativity become one of them. And yes, it's probably cheaper for the company to just allow a computer to do a person's job. At the same time, Microsoft is buying a nuclear power plant to run its AI programs. Yes, it can do a whole lot of good, and I'm excited for many of the things it can do. But I think we're harming ourselves by relying on it. What happens if we have a major event like an EMP, and suddenly our technology doesn't work? What's going to happen if nobody knows how to do anything? I like technology, but I acknowledge the harm that it can do.